guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay, yeah, like I was saying, my PC keeps overheating and crashing. So we're playing a browser game. I don't care. I know it's not the real game. It's not the real fruit game that everyone plays. Because I... You have to get a switch and you have to hook it up. My... My... What's the thing called? Hold on, I'm going. I'm trying my best here. What the heck is that thing called? Capture card. My capture card is in my old PC. My old PC is at my parents' house. This PC keeps is supposed to be better, but it keeps overheating and crashing now. Anyway, I'll figure it out one day. Anyway, I've been playing this game a lot. This Apollo Live version, this browser live, bra Hollow Live browser version of this game. So I said, whatever. I don't think it's gonna make my computer crash. I don't, I don't know. I play this a lot now. You guys just wait, okay? Hi, Draga, how are you? Yeah, my computer crashed. It keeps overheating. Hi, Thysane P. Let me know if the music's too loud. Anyway, I play it. I don't know. I wonder, I wonder how the browser, these, like, uh, fan versions, like, do compared to the, like, your skill in this would compare to, like, if I were to get the real one on Switch. Because I think I'm kind of good, but also, I might be just good at this version, you know? <laughs> did I say hi, Des 18 yet? If I didn't, hello. I'm back from the dead. My PC crashes playing a browser game and streaming, and I really know something's wrong. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys are like... I would like your guys' opinion uh, if you guys play like PC games. Uh, since I don't have... You know, sometimes if you, you're you not good at building PCs, right? Or you're just kind of dumb like me when it comes to technology. Maybe you have a friend that is good at it and your friend helps you, or maybe, and they, they build it for you, or maybe you have a lot of money and you could bring it to a place that'll repair it for you. I've had both of those options at one point in my life, but I no longer have those options right now. So I was thinking, well, I mean, I guess I could, I could pay to, I was thinking, okay, I could pay to bring it to a place and get like parts replaced or fixed or whatever. Or I was thinking, I don't know if this is dumb. Okay, guys, I don't know if this is dumb, dumb thinking. By men at a store didn't build it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of getting a. I was wondering what you guys think of like the pre-built ones, and also they come with warranties. So like, if something happens, I could just bring it back, or if it's a website, I can like, I guess I send it back, and they fix it for me. I was wondering if I should do that for my instead of just keep trying to maintain this PC. I don't know. Hello there. Hi PJ, how are you? I don't know. I don't know what the, the move here is, you know? But my headset, like I was saying, everything's breaking this past two weeks. My headset broke. I just bought a new one. It one, I have one, I'm wearing the old broken one right now. One of the things is broken. One of the sides. <laughs> my new one's coming in the mail. Uh, it's going like something. I don't know. Like, I was trying to play Spyro and my whole PC crashed and overheated again. So I'm trying to playing a browser game now. I'm playing the fruit game, but the, the fruit game that all the streamers are playing, except I don't- my capture card- I don't have my capture card, so I'm playing the Apollo Live fan made version. <laughs> Tough times here, guys. And that's okay, actually, I genuinely like this game. I've been playing, I've been playing this game for like three days straight. It stinks. I really was, I really wanted to, I was literally just thinking, like, this morning, I was like, I can't wait. I wanted to play the VR Five Nights at Freddy's for, like, Halloween. Gotta head back into the mines. Bye, Daisy 18. Good luck in the mines. It's raining a little bit. Hi, Duck Guy. How are you? My intro is on cooldown. Oh, yeah, PJ. I think it's because PJ just redeemed it. <laughs> I 
have my fan on though on my PC, so I hope that helps. I guess I didn't do it in time. Cause like I've played more advanced games than Spyro on stream. And I didn't crash. Like I was playing Baldur's Gate yesterday and it didn't crash, but I was playing Spyro and it like overheated. And I know it overheats because it beeps two times before it crashes, so that means it overheated and also it's really hot. I could feel it. It got really hot. My <laughs> bad. <laughs> I heard it in my head. I heard the hello there in my head. Yeah, so... Mm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping... I'm thinking that maybe I won't be able to play Baldur's Gate with you guys on stream, but maybe we could do it off stream. Maybe we could do it off stream together, because my PC is the... struggling. Struggling. We'll do something, guys. Don't worry. Also, I'm thinking maybe I won't have my usual Halloween-like games. Usually I play games all week for, on the week of Halloween. But we'll play something. We'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm stressing. Honestly, if I'm gonna be upset at anyone, it's myself, because somehow I managed to unplug my phone last night and it didn't even charge all- No! I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I'm like, I think I did a big brain. I'm like, yeah, I charged my stuff ahead of time. I was all prepared, but like, it wasn't plugged in the wall. You know, like, <laughs> I've definitely done that several times. Ah. Come on. Just... Chill, though. I love this game. I saw someone playing this Hololive version on Twitch, that's how I found it. Cause I searched cause I was like, oh, I gotta get a- I gotta get my Switch and hook it up and I don't have my- my thing and... I keep forgetting what that thing's called. Capture card. <laughs> I don't have my capture card. <laughs> my capture card- I don't have it with me. Here. It's in my old PC. when I saw this, I was like, it's so cute. <laughs> Just pretend they're fruits, guys. Don't, they're cute. There's another Hololive one I was playing, too. Here's the thing, I plugged it in and made sure my phone said it was charging, I laid it down to go to sleep, and the only thing I did with my phone after that, unless I did something in my sleep, is check a notification about five seconds after I put it down. Oh no, something- yeah, something must have happened. Why don't you turn on stream avatars? That'll definitely- I can't even turn on the program that lets you guys throw bits at my face. That totally broke on me. I mean, I could try. Maybe you can handle it, because this is a browser game. You know what? I'll give it a try. Why not? Let's test it. <laughs> that sounds fun, though. I want to try. be okay. I have my fan on now. I put my- I think I- I think the problem is I put my fan on too late before. Let's see. Uh, I think it's a game capture. Where are you guys? Oh, there we are. guys want to know what my life is like, this is what I've been doing for the past three days. <laughs> yeah! 
Do you guys- I want- do you guys like it when I do it like this so that you guys don't go behind me? Here. Is it better like that? Or do you guys like the full screen better? Or do you guys want to go in front of me? Mm. Hold on. I got this. There we go, now you're in front of me. Aha. Is it just me or does a red hair one look like spider? This one? I'm trying to make the face. <laughs> I can see it. Good luck in the battle royale. Anyway, how's your guys' week going so far? Besides my technology issues, it's been going- it's been chill. For me. Just working and... Playing this. <laughs> no! No, it, No, it didn't give me a chance! It didn't give me a chance! It would've went down! That wasn't fair. I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Not cool. That was not accurate. Business trip was pretty chill, I guess. It was a short one, no big deal. Still my intro, then you still might win. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> uh, PJ's always starting beef with everyone. If you guys want, you could play- you could- this is the website, you guys could play too, and you, we could try to beat each other's high scores. Hee 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 hee. Let me see, I'm trying to see what the highest I could get on stream is. I haven't been tracking my high score. <laughs> Professional meme <beef> cook. <laughs> True. I might, I might, here, I think I'm gonna make my avatar bigger, because I think you guys are kind of blocking me a little bit, okay. Um, I might, I might stream. I lost my, I lost my game. Too many, there we go, there it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, I might, I don't, I might stream with my sister tonight, is what I'm trying to say, on her stream, maybe, perhaps. Oh, if that happens, maybe I'll link in Discord so you guys can watch. <laughs> if you guys are interested. Maybe. I don't know if it's gonna happen. If my computer doesn't explode. I think it's mainly if I play a game and I stream. And I don't have the fan on. Well, it has- I don't know. I have no clue. Avatar looks more... scared. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it does. Where's the chat at? Oh, look at that. There you guys are. <laughs> I'm ready for your serious question. <laughs> oh, I'm so serious. I was so close today to find her IRL core bars a little heavy and have different sizes. Yeah. Should I be an Indian, an Afro, French saving slaves, or a pirate? These are Assassin's Creed games. I just don't know which to pick. Oh. Mm. A pirate. 
pirate. Oh wait, yeah, my sister played that one. I remember her playing that. I watched her play that. Not on stream, not IRL. <laughs> That's when we used to sit, sit in front of the TV and watch each other play video games. <laughs> yeah, and that one. You get to be on a ship and stuff. <laughs> Touch. I like it when they go flying. <laughs> There's multiple and Zio. You know, I recognize the name because people talk about that game so much on the internet, but I've never actually played and I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> sea shanties with the boys. Oh, did you guys see that? Nice. Z-O. Did I say that right? Those games are very nice, but didn't play them. Yeah, I definitely have never played myself, but they seem really good. And I know I know people who really like them. Assassin's 2 is the best one. Assassin's Creed. Boop, boop, boop. What's the biggest one you could get? I can't read. Ugh. Okay. Whew. Played him a bit too young, I think. Hmm. You put it together instead of broken up like you did, then yes. Oh. <laughs> right, 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 right. If I disappear. I keep touching back with the PC. I think we're good, guys. I was convinced. I would. I started watching after my after my uh, stream crashed. I turned my PC back on. I started watching a YouTube video about like I googled like I just my PC over here, and then they're like the fans aren't working. Like, and I'm like my fans aren't working, and I was convinced that like my fans weren't working. And I was like googling how to fix them, and then I actually looked at my PC and they were all spinning. So I was like, oh, never mind. That's a game where you play as Knights Templar. Assassin's Creed? If it's beeping 100% hardware issue, yeah, definitely. Hold on, sorry, I'm gonna take my hoodie off. Okay. We're getting real serious in this game, you know? So you came from my PC. I know I'm saying that wrong. I pronounce everything wrong, I'm sorry. Enemy girl head endgame. I haven't gotten the biggest one yet. I think it's Marine. I think I could say everyone's names. Oh my gosh, don't even try. Don't even challenge me, guys. Stop. There's like several things that my brain will never remember, and that's char names from of characters from TV shows, video games, VTubers. Names of cars, names of guns. It just, I can't. I can't, I don't know. I wish I could. But I know them all. Like, I know them. <laughs> can't rage on this game. You can only... <laughs> I have, actually, there's one... I was playing one with the... With Ian girls. Except for AC3, there's only one game you play as Templar, which is AC Rogue. Suika. Oh, that's how you say it! 
Suica. Yeah, I kept spelling it wrong. For some reason, I kept in my brain, the, I keep mixing up the I and the K. I keep thinking it's, it's S-U-K-I-A. So I keep, in my head, I read it as totally wrong. My brain keeps switching the letters. And I kept Googling it. I'm like, why can't I find this game? Just because I can't spell and I can't read. Pronounce it the Japanese way. Me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it the English way if there is one. <laughs> I think it's, I think people call it like the watermelon game in English. You want to do a boss battle? Sure. Oh wait, are we floating? My bad. Here, hold on. Let me fix this. I didn't realize we were all flying there. Oh, oop, oop, we disappeared. Uh. Oh wait, no, I did it wrong. Did I do it right? Oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to fix this a little bit. Where's the boss at? Okay, I think that's it. I think we got it. the perfect boss battle music. Ooh, 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 ah, uh. Come on, push, push, push. Okay. Oh wait, I actually have to battle now. What? Oh, I got her, I got her. Whose turn is it? Oh gosh. Uh. Oh gosh, okay. Guys, yell at me when, if I'm missing my turn, okay? Most chill boss battle. How are we doing? We have to defend the Hollow Life girls, guys. If I could just push her over. No, it didn't work. Come on, yes! Just... <sighs> Keep messing up. If I could... <sighs> I really messed up over here. Oof. way.
So it's almost my turn. Wait, that's my vision. Oh, it's fine. It'll work out. I'll put the card game. Okay, okay. It's almost my turn, I see. Okay, let's see what we got here. messed up a little too much. This this corner is where really where I messed up, I think. Oh okay, okay, okay. I don't think it's gonna yeah. I probably should have tried to get them to squeeze together. yet. Uh, not that I want anyone to die, I'm just wondering. Wondering how we're doing. Ooh, look at our, look at our health. Why are these bosses so hard? Getting wrecked. It looks like we're all getting wrecked. Should have went for that. Oh wait. Okay. <sighs> this one really messed me up. Flip. <laughs> oh. Shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, it's my turn? I'll try to do the life steal again. Oh, no, not yet. It's not my turn yet. Oh, gosh. Why are these so hard? I give it to you guys, right? That's what it is? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, they're so close, they're so close. Come on, just push her over. Push her over. Push. Yes. I gotta be right back. Hopefully you guys can still see it. Hold on a sec.
Sorry, I'm back. I had a I had to get a delivery on the porch. Okay. That's right. Why are these boss battles always so hard? They even gave us NPCs this time. <laughs> it's so hard. Is there like a mini boss battle we could do? Do we have levels? Hi, Phineas. Watch out, bud. Excuse me. Oh. Hold on. Okay. The boss. That's a normal boss? <laughs> R.I.P. Us. <laughs> oh, fuck, I should have. Really now. Okay. Mm, I'm not doing too good right now. Oh. You think if I put it here, it'll squeeze, or you think it'll go? Okay, yeah, it did. Oof. Push, push. Dang it! All right, that's my new high score, guys. Write that down. Write that down, Phineas. Some someone screenshot that for me. Thanks. I'll screenshot it later when I watch when I skim the vod. Check a flex on you guys later. Beeps was it again? My PC? When it was breaking? I don't know. I tried to watch the VOD back when it crashed to see if it, it capped the beeps before it crashed, but it didn't. It crashed before it started beeping. I think it's like two. <gasps> Thank you, Phineas. He's giving me little kisses with his tongue. You're so cute, Phineas. Thank you. That made me feel better. Certain amount of beeps means different things. Yeah, that's how I learned that it was overheating, I think. A while ago. I thought that was be first I thought it was because I was playing VR, then I thought it was because it was hot out. And now I'm starting to think it's just the PC. Cause now it's kinda cold. I don't know. I got an extra fan blowing on it though, so. <laughs> Thank you, bud. You're so cute. too hardcore for my PC. <laughs> mm. At first it was VR, then it was Fortnite. Now it's crashing on Spyro, so I think it's just a... It's a something's not working. Something's getting too old or something. <laughs> yeah, couldn't handle all the lore. I just finished the um, skateboarding level too. A skateboarding level. I was doing a really cute mission where I had to um, help a little baby wolf, and it crashed. It was too cute. I'm really mad I didn't get to finish that mission. It was so adorable. Maybe I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, laptop streams. <laughs> I'm 
Please, can I borrow your laptop again? That thing was more smooth than my PC. <laughs> Did the game have a save before the crash? I'm not sure. I think it saved before I got to the mission about the wolf, I think. At least we get to hang. At least we get to hang. I just really, I just really want to hang with you guys today. Spyro or Nurse or Spyro. Did you have your suit for Halloween or makeup? No. <laughs> Are you guys dressing up for Halloween? The closest I get to dressing up for Halloween is I commissioned that little witch outfit for my avatar for my VFX screen. Not for my avatar, for my for my VTuber character. I was uh, that's a that's actually I tried to make it look like a it was like a your character here, but I'm like I, if I pick the right colors and the right hairstyle, it could be like a like a cosplay. You hunt for the sweets, candies. No, I'm too old. But I'm excited because this year I bought uh, Pokemon cards for the trick-or-treaters. Hopefully they like it. They're like little packs of Halloween cards. I'm always a werewolf. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I dressed up. Oh, I remember the last time I dressed up. I got invited to uh, Game of Thrones watch party like last second with my sisters so we all just went to the store and just threw together some outfits <laughs> or hermit i guess me too <laughs> character that I dressed up as. I don't remember her name. You know, the... My sisters are like, you gotta dress up as that girl with the red hair. I'm like, okay. <laughs> the one that Jon Snow liked. There's a bunch of girls with red hair in that movie. Why did I almost say movie? First of all, why did I say girls? Women in that show with red hair. There we go. <laughs> uh, I think my brain's overheating now. Egret. Yeah, Egret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone sounded like her where I used to live. <laughs> I wish I remember what she sounded like now. I 
or any of you guys big Game of Thrones fans and were, uh, were broken and traumatized <laughs> by the way that they ended it. I never trust TV shows anymore. <laughs> ah, that was so bad. I was till season 8. Season 5 was when I started, like, I'm like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this show. Something's weird. I'm like, why are the characters dumb all of a sudden? <laughs> why do they all talk different? I used to watch them with my family. And they're like, shut up, you're just a hater. I'm like, no, I'm not. Then by the last season, they all agreed with me, so whatever. Why was Tyrion lost 100%? Exactly! He was the one where the bows were. I was like, he, he, I always used to be excited when he was on screen, and now I'm like, I was always like cringing. I'm like, ugh. Like, what happened to his dialogue? Everyone's dialogue just got so bad. No, no, no. Don't. Okay. But then I was like, you know what? Okay, the characters aren't it anymore. That used to be my favorite thing about the show was the characters and the dialogue. I'm like, okay, but at least it'll be like cool action. So I was like going into the last season like, okay, at least it's going to be like a lot of action. It's going to be cool. But, uh... Close to my last high score. Okay. Gotta get my head in the game. Oh look, there's my high school, my high score. I mean, I guess the dragons were cool. I don't know. There, I watched it. I used to watch it the last, but when I watched the last season, I was living in an apartment, and I only had a mini iPad. <laughs> So I was watching it on my mini iPad, and I thought it was my fault. I thought it was because I was watching my mini iPad that that one episode that was really dark and I couldn't see anything. I'm like, dang, I'm really missing now. I'm on that, like, mini iPad life. But then I was talking to my family after, like, the next day, and they're like, we couldn't see anything either on our TVs. And I'm like, oh, it wasn't. It wasn't because I was watching it on an iPad. Everyone couldn't see, and then I saw the memes and stuff. <laughs> and it was kind of dumb. Like, I didn't, I don't know. Whatever, I'm not even gonna think about it. Gets my gets me going. In a bad way. Wait, I don't know if that sounded weird. I don't know, whatever anyway. Like talking, like I could talk forever about it. But I'm just I just sound like a hater. Cause I, I like to complain, you know. Uh you know, like talking a lot. You watch House of the Dragon? Actually, I did watch that one. I wasn't gonna watch it at first because I was too heartbroken, okay? But then I was like, okay, I'm flipping bored. Let me just watch it anyway. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Um, I wouldn't say it's like on the level of like early Game of Thrones, but I liked it for what it was, you know? Painting stuff is fun. That's true. Hate watching is really fun. I used to have this one show. It was called the... Sh Shinara Chronicles or something? That used to be like my favorite show to hate watch. I recommend for hate watching. Like none of the characters are likable, none of the plot makes sense. The endings to every episode is like, does it just it's everything's resolved in a weird way that doesn't make sense. Like, one of the episodes, like, the characters, like, literally, like, caused, like, a million other characters to die, and then they just left, and everyone's like, thank you for coming! And I'm like, they literally just caused the death of a bajillion people. I like shouting at the TV, yeah, me too. I hate watching so good. So fun, I mean. <laughs> Guys, let's do a watch along. We'll watch the Shinara Chronicles together, okay? You know how people have, like, book clubs, and you have to read, like, a certain number of chapters? And then everyone talks about it once a week or something. Let's all hate watch the Shannara Chronicles. And we'll talk about it once a week. <sighs> when you say something and the TP answers you, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened to me.
Except, okay, sometimes I'm like, why did the... And then all of a sudden they literally answer the question as soon as I ask that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. I watched that show because they were hyping it up so much. They're like, oh, we have some of the cast of Lord of the Rings. We filmed it in New Zealand. It's going to be such a good fantasy show. I was hyped. And then I watched the first episode and I'm like, what? <laughs> what am I watching? And I'm like, I can't stop. I can't stop. Excuse me. I don't, I never heard of the series before, but the books seem interesting because it's supposed to be like, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but it's supposed to be like a fantasy series, like a book of fantasy, a fantasy book series. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying things out of order. Anyway, it's supposed to be the fantasy, but the fantasy world is supposed to be like earth but like thousands of years in the future you know what i mean yeah it's like a fantasy book series but like it's supposed to be like a post-apocalyptic earth but like magic like came out of the earth or something like that so and, and like the humans turned into the different races you know what i mean so like that's like that thing it's like or like no wait i think the magic was actually some kind of like mechanical thing or something I don't know, I think it was a really interesting take on fantasy. I think it was really interesting. I think that I did never actually read the books, but I did a little research because I was like, what is this show trying to go for? Like, and then I, the books actually seemed pretty interesting. I never read them, but once upon a time, it was called, I think it's called the Shannara Chronicles or something. Here, let me see. Here, this is how you spell it. This is the show, at least I think. Wait, hold on, let me copy and paste it for you guys. There. What was it based on? The book was called The Swordman of Shannara Trilogy. Sword Sword of Shannara. I spe I read that totally wrong, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, the books seem interesting. Never read them, but the show was a hot mess. But I enjoyed it. I enjoy hate watching it, I should say. Haha. <laughs> a new Walking Dead show set in France, and it seems so silly. Oh, my grandma keeps talking about that show. She gives me all the updates. For some reason, she thinks I, 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 I love that character, Errol. She's like, I watched a show with the guy you like. I never watched a Walking Dead before. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, okay. I don't know. I can't convince her otherwise, so I'm just going along with it now. I'm like, yeah. Daryl Dixon show, yeah, yeah. I know everyone who died. Never watched it. Don't know anyone's names though. She gets all the names wrong. <laughs> Same. Which I can maybe it's genetic, guys. Maybe it's genetic. <laughs> ah. I love the main show, but it went way off course for me. I watched like the second episode of it when someone else was watching it in my family, and it was like I don't know if I, I don't know. I was just a little tired of like survival zombie things at that point. Maybe I overdid it heard of it but didn't want to hear <laughs> maybe it's good i don't know focus way too much on the character drama maybe the budget was getting low <laughs> and it couldn't have as much prosth zombie prosthetics and stuff you know and like on fights or something which is drama <laughs> I remember 2003. I remember 20. I remember 2020. Are is any guy? Are you and you guys like? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> Two French people speaking English to each other, even when Daryl's not around. Oh my gosh, yes, I, I, that always bugged me about TV shows. Like, they should just have them speak their native language and put subtitles. I don't know why they don't do that. Are we what? Oh, I was gonna ask a question. But I think I know the answer to. It was really random. I was thinking hard, really hard about VTubers. I was thinking really hard about corporate VTubers. <laughs> and I was gonna say, are you guys really, are you, are there any guys into VTubers? But I don't think, I don't know. I, mean, I think only me and Dice and Teen really post about VTubers in the Discord. So I guess maybe that's a no. <laughs> Dice and Teen, did you see the new Gura figure? I was gonna post it in the Discord, but I didn't want to be annoying because I also posted about the Sims Plum Tree today. <gasps> There's a new. Uh, I almost. I was gonna say before. I almost. I was so close to almost pre-ordering some new like Hollow Life cards. There's like new. Why does? Okay, first of all, I need a friend who lives in Japan so they could send me stuff from Family Mart because they have make. They have the coolest collabs. Okay, with like Hollow Life girls. They have like these like cards coming out that like are in cookies, but they're all like they're all like it's so cute. They're like Hollow Life girls, but they're dressed as like um like fairy tale girls. It's so cute. I want it. Yeah. Some episodes TV show experts Manhattan, they say some French words in the original version. Oh really? I'm too busy. <laughs> Corporate VTubers? Yeah, corporate VTubers. When did VTubers become the corpro from Cyberpunk? Uh, VTubers... I don't know what that ref... I know Cyberpunk, but I don't understand the reference. But I will say that VTubers were corporate before they were not corporate. Because it used to be very expensive to be a VTuber. <laughs> it used to be big companies. Just only big companies. Pretty much. Right? in a day. Like the keys and eye days. Yes. I wish I, uh, you know what it is? I really don't like watching, I don't like watching streams on YouTube, so I don't really keep up with Hollow Life a lot. I watch them through, like, clips and, like, through Twitter and memes and stuff and, like, Reddit, you know what I mean? I'm just not good at following streams on YouTube, but I'm better at watching streams on Twitch, so I don't know why, I don't know why that is. I think, you know what it is, I think? I've been trying to think about this. I think it's because I get too distracted on YouTube because I see recommended videos and I get really distracted and I start clicking on them. And then I mute, when I'm listening to a stream, I mute it to listen to the YouTube video that I saw on the side. And then I forget about that there's a stream on my other tab. I can't do, I think, I can't do YouTube live streams for some reason. My brain can't handle it. I get too distracted. Corporal's a short word version of corporate, I'm assuming, which in cyberpunk are people in suits, like businessmen. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, people do call them corpo VTubers. They say indie VTubers and corpo VTubers. It's fine. <laughs> do you guys watch the uh, streamers on YouTube? Oh, speaking of, I'm literally gonna have a stream. I would like to- I'm going to try to stream on YouTube. <laughs> uh, on Tuesday. I would like to give it a shot. I want to stream The Sims on- not Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday. Can't talk today. On Thursday. Hyper Thursday. <laughs> Yeah, hi for my first YouTube stream. After I just thought, got done saying that YouTube, I, I don't have the brain cells to watch a YouTube stream. I'm streaming on YouTube. Put that in the calendar, yeah. No, but video to another video to another video. Exactly, that's what I do. I get so distracted. I'm like, yes, I would like to find out about the lore of this uh, video game franchise that I never played before. Like a three hour video. Yes, that is a great idea. True crime video. Yes, that's a great idea. Three hours? Okay. A video essay and an anime I never watched? Okay. Yeah. 
YouTube debut. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it is kind of like a debut, right? <laughs> mm, I gotta show my feet and everything, I guess. I don't know. I'm just gonna make it like a normal sim stream. I would like to do I would like to do two stream, sim streams a week. On Sundays, I will stream on Twitch, and then Thursdays I stream on YouTube. I don't know how that's gonna go, but that's my idea. Double the Sims. And I stream on YouTube and see how that goes, you know? Touch. Nope. Then whenever I think of a VTuber debut, I always think about when... How they show their feet first and everyone in the chat is always like, FEET! <laughs> bopping oh like the bouncing <laughs> when they're showing off the physics of their new model <laughs> yeah yeah see i'm i'm a little bit i know a little bit about v poopers it's like a i think it's like a running gag because like when they here i'll show you when they show when they get a new model you got you they should they reveal it like little by little you know do, do, like they want to show all the details so they start from the bottom and they work their way up but everyone always makes the joke like hey. And then, yeah, then they always, like, bounce, and then they show off, like, their eyes. Which I have spider webs in my eyes. I don't know if I showed you guys that on my... Me. I gotta stop saying that. That's what I imagine- that's what I imagine their voice sounding like when I read chat. And everyone's like, doing the sniff emote or whatever, and they're like, Hoo. I just watched a- I just watched Iron Mouse- was it yesterday? Iron Mouse they had new model. <laughs> yeah, I know, the model's so cute! Thank you. I wish I wish I uh was more comfortable just chatting and hanging, but I always feel like I gotta play a game or something. It's like I like I like when VTubers they chat and they're like they show you know like this and they just chat with with everybody. But I've never done a just chatting stream before. I'm a little nervous about something like that. Honestly, I feel concerned for a majority of people who watch VTubers now. <laughs> I think it's a joke. Uh, I don't know. I always thought it was a joke. I don't know. No, I'm not sure. I honestly, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about a lot of things. Every day I learn something new and I'm like, oh. I like consume VTubers from afar, you know? Like, <laughs> my favorite VTuber fact that I learned was that in places on the internet where people like to talk about VTubers. Uh, VTubers who are 30 and up are called hags. I'm a hag. I'm a VTuber hag. That's my favorite VTuber fact that I learned. Am hag. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm 30. Oh, I didn't- mm. <laughs> I thought you were in your 20s. I was in my 20s until last year. <laughs> I was in my 20s until November of last year. <laughs> so you were correct until a year ago. <laughs> this explains a lot. I feel like I- I feel like I definitely emanate like... Like, someone who's been alive since the early 90s energy, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the age of 30s in demand. Yeah, apparently, apparently people really like hag. Uh, VTuber hags. Like, they like, they like old, a lot of people like older VTubers. That's what they say. That's what the, that's what some of the hollow light VTubers say. They say that they're in demand. Not a lot of people, but some people, I guess. I don't know. Is that weird? I don't know. My 
birthday's in November, guys. I'm gonna be really in my 30s in November. I'm gonna be a whole 31. <laughs> it's official. Mine's less than two months. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. I'm a Scorpio. What about you guys? I don't really know anything about astrology, but I do know that I'm a Scorpio. And I saw on Twitter the Pusheen account, the official Pusheen account, made a post, I think it was yesterday, and they said Scorpio season just started. So now I know, thanks to the Pusheen Twitter account, that Scorpio season just started. I'll finally be able to drink legally nice. <laughs> guys see that the oldest dog in the world he, he was 31 I think or 32 he just died R.I.P. that dog was older than me I saw Tricky Wee's avatars reveal it was exciting what you explained oh <laughs> exactly what you explained yes exactly that's what they're like I haven't seen a ton of them, but, like, everyone I've seen has been kind of similar to that. I know I got some donuts to remember him by. Aww. What's his name? Donut or something? I forgot already. I saw it yesterday, and I was like, oh my god. And then I was thinking about, like, how he's seen more of the world than me. Like, more years than me. It's like, wow. PJ's the cop. They're definitely touching. Okay, that guy. His favorite snack was doggy donuts. Aww. <laughs> You're on the run. No! <laughs> no! Just saying, is anyone else playing this? What's your guys' high scores? Anyone else playing with me? <laughs> it won't be my high score. No pressure, but like also I want to know. Also, if anybody has, before the plum tree shuts down, if anyone has any family trees on any of their sims, from any of their sims games, sims 2, 3, or 4, I would love, love, love to see if you want to share on Discord. I would love to see your family trees. Touching, come on. Nice. Okay. This is like what my brain looks like. This game was made for my brain. Like my my actually I can't lie, my go-to my go-to time killer game is solitaire. My sister's a Tetris kind of a gal. Solitaire's my go-to. Lately this has been my go-to though. I was reading an article about the company that made the game on Switch and how they apparently they made the game not to sell it or something? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, they, they a lot of people want them to make a mobile release, and they, they said they don't want to. <laughs> like, just do it! I would love to play this on my phone. Like, the, the, the fruit one. Do it! I feel like that's like a bajillion dollar opportunity right there. They should just go for it. They're like, nah. 
friendship with Sudoku is over. Now my friend is Minesweeper. <laughs> uh, I never understood Minesweeper. I only tried to play it when I was a kid, though, so maybe, maybe if I played it now, I'd understand it, or maybe not. Don't know. One time I bought a Sud Sudoku book from the dollar store. And I was trying, I could not get past the first page, and I was trying so hard. And then I finally went to, I was actually, like, I think, I think, I think I was, me and my brother and my mom were, like, challenging each other. And we were trying to see who would beat it first, so we, like, made copies of it, or something like that. And we were all trying, and we all got really stumped on it, and it literally took us, like, all night, and we couldn't get it. So then I went, we were like, okay, fine, let's just go to the back and see what the solution was. And then it actually, like, didn't make sense. Like, they, like, I don't remember what it was if, like, one of the numbers was, like, doubled or something. But, like, I'm like, oh, that's what we get for buying it from the dollar store, I guess. <laughs> the first page! The first page. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. The person who made it did not try. Sometimes I wonder if, like, people just have, like... AIs or like computer programs or bots or something trying to make things like that it just doesn't work sometimes. I don't know. Well, I guess you people make problems, but Ooh, battle royale. Good luck, guys. That was the last time I played that game. That really crushed my soul. I just was trying so hard, but in the end, there was no way to win. They trolled me. Oh my gosh, if I was a teacher and I had an annoying class, I would definitely print that out for them and say whoever gets whoever beats this gets extra credit. Uh -huh. That'd be so funny. They would no one would ever solve it. I would do that like once a year. <laughs> if the class was annoying. It would definitely keep them quiet for a whole class period. Congrats, that guy. Who's that? Oh, Piper! I'm so sorry. I know. I'm sorry. Your chair is being used by my fan. My PC is overheating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Piper. Oh, guys, by the way, I forgot to say there's a giveaway today for a random Steam code if you guys want to enter. Explanation point enter in the chat for a random Steam code. Hey, Piper. I'm sorry. Your chair is uh, being used. I'm so sorry. end up with this. Oh, sorry, Piper. I know. I'm sorry. She wants my chair. She wants a chair I'm sitting on. You want to sit on my lap? She definitely doesn't want to sit on my lap. She hates my lap. You want to come up? We could share the chair. I mean, if I make some room, maybe. No, she doesn't want to. Here. No? Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. You want to sit on the uh, desk? If you jump up on the chair, then you could jump up on the desk. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. She's on the desk, guys. Mwah. Hold your Piper. I can't see the game, though. She's so excited. 
You did it. She's feeling very adventurous today. jinx it if I say that. I'm gonna jinx it. Hi Trollosaurus, how are you? It's going good. describe this game. Come on. Days over time to relax. Nice. Here, Piper. I was playing Spyro before, but my computer crashed. I should have. Uh, sometimes I look ahead by accident instead of looking at the one that's in her hand. A chain. Um, they're definitely touching. I mean, I don't know. That's what I think. In my opinion. out better actually. I was wondering you know what I was wondering? I was wondering how people who like VTubers, you know how people have like Oshis and they like buy all their merch? Are they rich? Like how does that how do they do that? <laughs> I can't even keep up with the merch drop. Like like I can't even keep up with merch drops for like one person or like, you know what I mean? Like they just come out with stuff so often. And they do a lot of collabs now with like big companies. I can't. I used to buy stuff from like the Ninji Sanji store. Oh my god, that was expensive as flip. They don't go out. Hmm. So what you're saying is if I don't go outside and I save money, buy more stuff. Ah. I blocked myself. <laughs> Alright. Dang it. Also, I was wondering too, I feel like you gotta, if you live in a different country than the VTuber, you gotta import stuff. It's really tough, it seems. It's really tough. Because I was just trying to look into those cards. Yep, I messed up so bad. <laughs> did I beat my high score? No, I didn't. Dang it. I was like 15 points away. Welcome back, that guy. Also, why does Singapore get VTuber cafes all the time? I'm severely jealous. I wanna go to a VTuber cafe. They get they get really cute cafe like collabs with like VTubers. Season Piper. I'm trying to think if I could get a chair for Piper. I don't know where I would get one from. Hey Piper. Alright, let me start another game. Should have been me. Oh, 
I love watching, like, travel vlogs of people going to, like, themed cafes. Ah, uh, I love that. Oh, or, like, people going to, like, uh, theme parks for, like, events or, like, in other countries and, like, eating the food and, like, drinking the drinks. So good. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. It's so relaxing. It's such... It's a vibe. That's, like, my favorite kind of YouTube video. People going into a abandoned mall. I've never seen that. I believe it, though. I think I've seen something like that on TikTok, but... but definitely a lot of those. Malls are kind of cool. Many malls, I guess. That would be pretty cool. It's like the last of us or something. Are you guys gonna watch a new Five Nights at Freddy's movie? watch it. You think I have to play all the games to get all the references? Probably. Or you think they're playing- they're only basing it on the first game. Excuse me, because they're planning on making it into a series, you think? Like a series of movies. Like a franchise. Movie franchise. Or you think it's like a one-time thing and they're just gonna jam-pack it with references? I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about the, the new Hunger Games movie that comes out the day before my birthday. And then I think that's about it. <laughs> that's all I'm excited for. I don't really know much. I hope there's a parody music video in the movie. <laughs> Oh my gosh. A Nightcore version, though. It has to be Nightcore. I'm back. Seeing the FNAF movie this week hyped. Oh my gosh. Piper, why, why are you bonking me with your head? I know why she wants attention. I'm concentrating on VTuber girls. I'm very busy, Piper. only played the first game, but I've read a lore a lot. Yeah, I played the first game, but I did watch, you know, some game theory videos, so <laughs> I pretty much know everything. <laughs> watched them like 10 years ago, but you know, maybe I retained some of the information. You know, there was the bite, and then the other bite, and then the ghost kids, and the guy who killed the kids, and the animatronics, and yeah. Um, um, the bites, I don't know, I think that's all I know. Golden Freddy, uh, Chica, Mary Foxy. All right, let me let me see your lore drop now. In in the eighties, there was Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, and they had animatronics. But then some children got murdered, or even someone got bit, and then the it shut down for some reason. I think because I think because uh, someone got bit, and then the ghosts of the dead children. Wanted the animatronics. And then we become the, the person that watches them at night. So they don't escape or something, I don't know. I get my lore from FNAF music videos. Oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> That's Bonnie. I know Bonnie is the blue purple. Wait, is the purple Bonnie? 
I play guitar in a band. Don't forget who I am, right? Okay. I don't know. Right. Did I say them all? At least in the first game. I definitely don't know the other ones. In the other ones, there's like a there's a character that's a cupcake. There's a character that's like a a boy with like a silly hat and a balloon. Oh man, I'm thinking so hard right now. <laughs> Deep hat boy lore. Does he really have good lore? What's his name? Maybe we should all just binge watch the, the Game Theory videos to refresh our memories before we go see the movie. Or maybe we shouldn't and we should just watch the movie and see what we remember, you know? Balloon Boy, that's his name. <laughs> again with the names. I like how everyone has like a human first name and then he's just Balloon Boy. <laughs> maybe it would have been too- maybe because he's like a human, kind of? It would have been too weird to give him like a human name? myself had a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese when I was a kid, so it's kind of like I was at Five Nights at Freddy's, you know? It's kind of like I experienced it in real life in the 90s, you know? Except no one died and there was no haunted animatronics and there was no ghost children. At least not that I was aware of. Billy? His name's Billy? I could see that, actually. He does look like a Billy. Oh, Piper, you need help? Oh, okay, she got it, okay. Sorry, Piper. Does look like a Billy. Is it even a good birthday party if no one dies? Yes. Dead dead children is something you don't want at a birthday party, actually. I don't know. If you've ever been to one, but they five nights at Freddy's into the real thing. Yes, I was there. There was the band and everything. The animatronics had they were singing a song and everything. I think they were on stage, they were doing something. I don't quite remember. I think I was like three or four. <laughs> I don't quite remember, but I do remember the getting cake, and the person who worked there had made the mistake of giving me the icing and said, decorate it however you want, and child me was like, well, I know what to do because A, I can't draw, and B, I like icing. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can and dump this whole bottle of icing onto this cake. So I went as fast as I could and I was squeezing it and I was spinning around and around and around, around and she like ripped it out of my hand and she, she goes, that's enough! I'm like, I'm like, I did a big break. I was so proud of myself. I was like, now everyone at this table is gonna have excessive frosting on their cake and I was just so proud. I was like, you're welcome everybody in my head. Cake speed run, yes! <laughs> I outsmarted her. I gave everyone extra sugar that day. No! I would have worked! It would have worked if they let it if they let it just land, it would have worked. Dang it. It would have worked. How long have I been streaming? I don't care, I'm gonna keep going. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna beat my high score. It's like, um, there was this, like, a uh, place that made cookie cakes, like, giant cookie cakes, when I was a kid. And they used to, um, they had a book, and you pick what design you want on the cake. So every year, I would pick the frog, and my mom's like, wow, you really like frogs. I'm like, uh, no, mom, I picked that one because I had the most frosting on it. Duh. 
did like kind of, I did kind of like frogs though, but I mean, you know, I was going for maximum frosting. If I had to get a dinosaur or a race car or a flower, I don't care. Whichever picture had the most frosting, that's the one I was going to get. The giant frog is what I got every year. I was a big frosting fan, I guess, now that I think about it. I like how, like, I don't know if it's Gen Alpha or Gen Z, how they're, like, trying to, like, the ones on TikTok, they try to, like, comprehend, like, the 90s and, like, the 80s and stuff, and they're like, what the hell did everyone do all day? <laughs> like, what did the kids do all day? <laughs> uh, I read books and I played with toys. We went outside. Yeah, I did. I did go outside a lot. That's true. We did go outside a lot. I saw this chart the other day on Twitter, where it was showing like stats from like the 70s until now, and it showed like how many kids would die from like car accidents versus like now, and it was like really big in the 70s and also really tiny now. And I was like, maybe that's because kids don't go outside anymore. Everyone's like, what? They just mow over kids back then? But also kind of true. Also, I think that back then, I don't know if it was the 70s or the 60s, they didn't make seatbelts, like, required in cars, right? Until, like, the 60s or 70s, right? And then they didn't even make it the law. So I think a lot of people would just die in car accidents. That's what my parents told me. They're like, yeah, we knew a lot of kids that just, you go to school and they're just not there anymore and they were in a car accident because they didn't wear seatbelts back then until the 80s. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I can't imagine. They're like really living on the edge. Dang. Maybe I'll push it. Yes. Ah. You got it. If I have my seatbelt down for like two seconds, not on, I mean, I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> I can't, I can't be in a car without the seatbelt on, it makes me feel safe. Me. But you know, they have, they have, um, if you don't like wearing a seatbelt, like if it hurts your neck or something, they have things you can buy that you can put on it. Like you can buy like a little fuzzy thing to put on it, make it more cozy so it doesn't hurt so much, you know? There's, there's, there's things you could do. It's definitely better than going through a windshield, I think. I don't know. In my opinion, but I don't know. That's for fun anyway, I guess. And it is the law. Or at least for certain ages, I think. I think it's by age over here. Why am I talking about something? Why am I talking about dead children a lot? Oh my God. First we're talking about Five Nights at Freddy's, now we're talking about car accident statistics. That's just what happens. When Five Nights at Freddy's gets brought up, you just, it just, that's where the conversation always goes, it goes you know? how it is. You guys want to know my stupid game theory on a game I never played before? Because <clears throat> I have one. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's my kind of subject. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> okay, so there used to be... I don't know if it still exists, but there used to be this website that was about Final Fantasy... What was it? Was it 6? I never played it. I think it was six. And it, there used to be a whole website dedicated to a theory that the game, like, oh, the game came on two discs, 
and like after the first disc it leaves you on a cliffhanger where it looks like the main character might have died but then the second disc it just kind of continues so the theory was that he actually did die in the first disc and then the second one is like his fantasy like after he died right and like i read through that whole page and as someone who never played i thought it was pretty convincing but people who have played have said that, that it's not very convincing <laughs> but i'm like wait a diddly darn minute why doesn't the person who write this literally say that the name of the game is Final Fantasy? What if they l l literally made a game about fi a fi someone's Final Fantasy? They should have wrote that on the website. I'm just saying. They're like, it's like a dream before he died. I'm like, yeah, like a fantasy? Like a Final Fantasy? <laughs> Because, like, they're, they, they, they're, like, they say that, like, the game gets more magical after, in the second disc, and the creatures get more weird, and the girl that didn't like him all of a sudden likes him, and he somehow miraculously survived. I didn't ever, I never played that game, so I don't really know. But, I think it's true in my head solely because the game series is called Final Fantasy, and what if maybe one day they're like, what if we genuinely made a story about someone's Final Fantasy? Just saying. That's back in the day when people had to make websites. When there was no Reddit or Twitter. You had to make a whole dang webpage for something that you wanted to, people to know about. <laughs> like the Final Fantasy house. Oh my gosh, that was like one of my favorite to go- If I had a lot of time to kill, like every few years, I would go on that website about the Final Fantasy house and I would read that. That was so crazy. Fantasy character has fantasy in Final Fantasy game about fantasy. Exactly. I believe it, so that's the only reason why I believe it. Never played it, but yeah. <laughs> also, I would find music through people's web pages too, and I would never know what the song is. And I would guess I would go onto people's web pages just to listen to a song. And then when they change the song, I'm like, that's it. I'm never finding the song again, especially if it wasn't in English. Like, there's, there was a song in my head that I heard in my head for, like, years. Like, t like I want to say, like, two decades it took me to find it. And it ended up being from a video game. It ended up being from, like, a dot .hack game or something. Or maybe it was one of the anime. I don't know. I never, I never, I never watched or played those, but it was from someone's webpage. And I would listen, I would go on that webpage just to listen to the song. And then I'm like, did I make that song up? And like, I don't, rem I didn't remember the lyrics or anything, so I couldn't find it. And I sometimes I would try to find it, and I couldn't. And then one day I finally found it on some weird, obscure website, like that was like breaking my computer. It was like one of those like bot generated webs, not yeah, like a bot generated website. You know when you could tell a website pulled information from another website, and it like crudely makes it look try to look like Wikipedia or something like like that. And then you get a hundred pop ups, and your things like you shouldn't be on this website. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, your browser. What was the song? Mm. Let me hold, hold on, I can find out. Don't worry everyone, I got this. I heard it when I was 11, and I would go on this person's webpage all the time to hear it. And then it took me like, almost 20 years to find it again. remember. Do I still have Spotify on my... No, I don't. Okay. Maybe I had it on SoundCloud? No, I don't have it. I have my Five Nights at Freddy's Nightcore remix songs on there, though. Oh well. Oh, I should have let them connect. That was my bad. I remember 
there was this Neopets page that I really liked. Someone made their used their Neopets like as OCs, and they would make OCs. And this person made their Neopet into like a Jedi during like the time because this is around when like the the um the third movie came out, you know. So like I would go on there for like updates on their story, and then one day I went on, and they changed they changed fandoms. And I was devastated. It was just all gone. Dang it. They're like, my Neopet is no longer a Jedi. He's now something else. I forgot what he was, though. I think he was like a... I think it was something I never heard of before. It was like a car racing thing or something. God bounce, have a good night. Look for the YouTuber heads. Thank you. Good night, PJ. Thanks for hanging. I don't think I'm gonna beat my high score, guys. I think I just had a lot of luck there. Oh, why don't we go down and push it? Oh, boy. No! Alright, one more try. One more try. That's it. I'm not gonna... G I don't care. I'm gonna keep going. Talk about... Talk about old internet. I don't care. Memory lane. My favorite, like, ancient internet story is, um, I don't know what to call it, actually. It doesn't really have, like, a name. There's so many good ones. Old internet was wild. Someone, someone recently made a video about it. I was shocked because it used to be, like, something that I would have to, like, read on, like, people's blogs and stuff. <laughs> The YouTuber actually made a video about it. Here, let me see if I can find it for you guys. It's about a Lord of the Rings cult. There's no, like, official name. You know how, like, the Final Fantasy house has, like, that's what people call it? Like, everyone knows what they're talking about. This one, the story doesn't have, like, a name. Also, the people who were, like, the main, like, protagonists in the story, like, a lot of them, um, they purposely use names of, like, pop- as usernames, like, popular brands or, like, uh, porn stars or something. <laughs> like, so that they can't be tracked on the internet, like, easily, you know? <laughs> um... Who's the YouTuber that did it? Found it. Okay. There you guys go. And this is only, like, part one. They didn't make any more videos about it, but there's, like, three parts to this story. That's, like, my favorite old internet story that... I used to, like, go on blogs and, like, read up on. And, like, reread. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Before we had creepypastas, we had actual people doing crazy things. Fandoms be crazy, you know? Sometimes. You know, I used to say that the most wholesome <laughs> aged like milk, uh, right here. I used to say the most wholesome fandom was the Harry Potter fandom. That statement aged like milk. <laughs> uh, I'm like, you know. wholesome fandoms around now. Why 
Well, I can't think of any. Let me know if there's one. <laughs> the spider phantom. <laughs> Oh. No, I'm just kidding. People hate spiders. Most game fandoms become too odd. Night and day difference to say it politely. I know. People just get really extreme. I used to enjoy- I never read Harry Potter, but like I used to know people on the internet who were like into the- Who were into the internet fandom, and from what I've seen back in the day, the fandom was very nice and accepting, and they were- They had cute websites, and they would like publish each other's like writings, and like- be very, I don't know, it seemed very nice back then. Again, that was before like social media, though. back when you had to go on websites for- that's another thing, is that I feel like back in the day, people were a lot more isolated in their fandom, so that's why fandoms went a little bit more wacky back then. <laughs> it's like, if you liked a video game or something, you would have to find, like, a really the you would hope that some web developer made a website about it, and hope that there was, like, a forum on there, and then you could talk to other people on there about it, but it was just, like, a very isolated, weird experience, you know what I mean? Like, I hear so many weird stories, like, from like old forums like that. Sims community still have nice people for the most part, can't say for the others much. At least from the top of my head, everyone that I uh, used to follow became toxic. In the Sims community? You know what the, I see the most in the Sims community is people in this people, I don't know, maybe this is just my perspective because I have a very like, I have my own like algorithm on Twitter, but, like, the only people who, I, who seem angry all the time are Sims 4 fans when people dunk on the Sims 4. <laughs> oh, franchises. Oh, okay, gotcha. I feel like Sims 4 people get more mad about people dunking on the Sims 4 than people the people dunking on it. <laughs> but overall, uh, yeah, I think the Sims community is great. Oh, the Project Zomboy community. I love, every time I stream it, everyone's so nice. And the memes are great. I love I love following the Reddit and, and, the, tw and the Twitter the memes on Twitter and stuff. The memes are so funny. I like the Project Zomboy community. Since people are no words. Yeah, I don't know what's up with them. Is it a bit angry because they're in denial? <laughs> they're in denial. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We must defend the billion dollar corporation from criticism. <laughs> I know, right? The Sims 4 is, is not really like a Sims game. It's like a dollhouse simulator, we say that. Not like a Sim Sim Sims game. <laughs> I mean, I get it if you're like a builder or like whatever, like it's really good for like decorating and building and stuff and like making Sims, but like the gameplay wise. Mm. But you know, I'm holding out hope. There's a lot of games coming out, a lot of life simulation games coming out. We'll see how it goes. Maybe Sims 5 will be a vibe, maybe Sims Paralyzed will be a vibe, maybe Life by You will be a vibe. Maybe we're about to enter like the new the new golden era of life simulation games. We just don't know it yet. We're all fighting for no reason. We're all gonna forget about this time, you know? And people will be more accepting that other people have opinions about what games are good and bad. So there'll be a big variety of games. I'm in good terms with builders. Yeah, I wish I was a builder. I love- that's like my favorite thing. I love watching people- that used to, when I first started watching Twitch, I started watching Twitch, I think in like 2016 or 2017. That's what I used to watch a lot. I used to watch people build in The Sims 4. I love that so much. Building and decorating, it's so relaxing. I love, I love watching that. That's how I first got into Twitch. I like exclusively watch people building. Like while I would work, I would put my little iPad in the back of my computer, my work computer. And I would just have like a little, little building, relaxing video going on in the background.
Whoa. One time I saw, going back to the Lord of the Rings cult, one time I saw some, I think I was on, I don't know what I was on, I don't know if I was on Reddit or on a forum or something, and I was researching, I was like into, like I was in a phase where I was like, I, I want to know more about like crazy fandom cults, you know what I mean? That's like one of my favorite things, like to research. And people were talking about like fandom cults in like the 80s or something or like the 70s and like someone was saying how like they went to like a Star Trek convention and um, there was this guy like giving a panel there um, and then that guy about like aliens or something like that and then that guy ended up being like either part of or the leader of um, Heaven's Gate or something like that and then like someone else was saying that they went to a convention and there was like a elf cult <laughs> of people who believe that they were like their souls were like of the elves of like the Lord of the Rings books. Ah, uh, if only the internet existed back then. Heaven's Gate had a, had a website. I guess it wasn't that long ago. For example, Starfold made really beautiful builds. I love, but though sadly, I don't see much point in any of that being actually being played since Sims 4 play-wise is man. Yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't enjoy building in the Sims 4 because A, I don't enjoy building, but also I don't, I just never feel motivated. Like once I start, I'm like, I'm not even gonna enjoy playing in this house anyway, so. I just go with the pre-made pre houses. Start, I'm gonna start a VTuber cult. <laughs> you guys can join if you want. Actually, I think that already exists, kind of. I don't know, I've never- I, I- it always fascinates me when people become really obsessed with, like, one thing. You know what I mean? Like, um, to, like, make it their whole life, you know? Like, when you're really passionate about something. Like, stands, you know? Like, a stand. I always wanted to like something that much. Never quite got there, though. I don't know what I would pick. Do I just pick one day? Do I just say like I'm I'm a Sonic kind of person now? You know, I just really like Sonic. Like Sonic people, there's some really hardcore Sonic people. You know, Sonic is one of those things that people like. Like they just don't get over it. Like they're like this is the greatest thing ever. Free data hour over. Oh, bye, Desi and Team. Thanks for hanging in. Old Sims games are my only stance material. Yeah, that's as close as I get, I think. I would- that's the only thing I've been playing for a really long time, I guess, is The Sims. Although, some people do- I was gonna- I was about to say, I don't know how- how you would... ...be like- make- be like a fandom, kind of, with it, but actually people do- there is kind of like a Sims fandom for like the pre-made Sims, especially in The Sims 2. I didn't realize this until I went on The Sims Tumblr. People make, like, fan art and stuff and, like, memes and stuff of, like, the pre-made Sims and Sims 2. And not just, like, Bella, you know? <laughs> like, all of them. Even sometimes I see memes of, like, the, um, like, the other day I saw a meme about that, like, corrupt, like, ghost sim that's, like, in, like, all of Spectre's, like, uh, graveyard. <laughs> They include everyone, you know? And there's like whole blogs dedicated to like the characters. But I don't really have like a solid, like I feel like in my head, I don't really have solid personalities for like The Sims because I feel like, yeah, they make like bios and stuff for them, you know, and like backstories, but like I feel like The Sims just do whatever they want anyway. Or you like do whatever you want with them. So like, I don't know. I really messed up. I really messed up. There's nothing I can do. I messed up. I'm never gonna beat my high score.
patch. All according to plan. <laughs> Old Silent Hill games 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, original Resident Evil 2, and 3. Speaking of Sonic, yeah, it's my OG favorite from the 90s. Those games are the ones that actually gave me the reason to give a damn about gaming. Yeah, those are really good. I wish I wish I played Sonic. It's very beloved. I played it like one time at like a family member's house. A Sega. Silent Hill, I wish I got more into. I have most of them, I think. Oh, I have. I have the like re. I don't think they're remakes. I think they're re. Like enhanced versions of like, I think two and three. I think? Or three. Four? I have the PSP one. What's that one called? And then I used to get them. If I ever see them in thrift stores, I always grab them. I have one, like, Origins or something. And then I have... What's the one with the girl on the swing? They're scuffed. I, I know. I tried playing a little bit, and I was, I was like, I don't know about this. I think maybe I should just find, find an older copy. HD Remaster. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. I just thought maybe- I never played Silent Hill 3, I think I went to 3, and I was like, I don't know about this. Whoops. But the only one I played all the way through was the one for PSP. That's definitely on my list of one day. <laughs> One way. See, I could be playing classic games, but I'm here playing this. <laughs> Are they really that bad? Dang. I'm more- I don't mind playing old versions of games on their, like, original platforms. So if I ever get my hands- I mean, I feel like they'd be expensive, but if I ever would get my hands on them, I wouldn't mind playing the original versions. I'm not really into emulating. I'd rather just, like- especially st with streaming, I'd have- I'd rather just use my capture card and, like- I have a, a PlayStation 3 that's backwards compatible, so we could play PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games. So I like to stream PlayStation games with that, but and my capture card, but I haven't done that in like a year or two. <laughs> Sadly, the PS2 versions are the ultimate versions. Other ports are messed up. Mm. Are the fan made remasters for PC that are worth playing? Oh, really? You know what else has been on my list for a really long time? Metal Gear Solid. I have. I have. Definitely have the second one. I have another one too. What? Don't remember. It's been so long. I have them. I have so many older games that I've acquired like later on in life. Like, either from people giving them to me because they didn't want them anymore, or, like, I find them at, like, thrift stores or rummage sales or something like that, and I just never got a chance to play them yet. I plan on selling Middle Gear Solid games. Are they worth a lot? I know that they're coming out in the fall. I think they're coming out with a remake of them, of the original first two, I think it is. But I read that um, there's, like, clips of, like, like, audio clips or something of, like, political, like, real political figures, like, talking, and they, like, don't have the 
copyright anymore for those clips, so they can't put them in the new versions. So maybe it's better to play the older versions. I don't know how relevant they are. Not sure. My version might sell for more. I have collector's editions. Oh! I used to have an app that tracked all the values of my games. Then I deleted it because I was trying to make space on my phone and I regret it because it took me so long. It took me so long to scan every single one of my games and get them all on there. I thought it would save the data, but it didn't. When I re-downloaded it, it was all gone. Dang it. I just like it as a reference, you know, just to know. I don't plan on selling my games, but... Maybe, maybe one day I'll organize my game shelf at my parents' house and I'll take a picture and I'll show you guys. I did get some good games. I, I found some really good finds at a rummage sale in a thrift store recently. I went to a thrift store and they had a ton of PSP games. And half of them were like weird movie games and the other half were sports games, so I got the weird movie games. Like it was like Surf's Up or something and like, what was it? Here, hold on, let me see. I think I took a picture. I was gonna I was gonna show you guys on like Twitter or Discord or something, but then I think I chickened out. I always do that. I always take pictures for you guys and then I like get scared to post it. I always chicken out. Look, no one wants to see. <laughs> Most of my games are stored away. I lost count and knowledge of what I have. Yeah, I, I got all my games are at my parents' house. Let's see. I got... Yeah, Surf's Up, Sean White Snowboard, Tron Evolution. I got Midnight Club, LA Remix, Gran Turismo. And then I went to a rummage sale and... Um, I got some really good stuff. I got Zoo Tycoon still in the box. I got StarCraft II and still in the box. I got My Sims Racing for DS. I got Mist in the jewel case. I got Star Wars Empire at War in not the box box, but uh, the plastic box. Sim Animals. That's for my Sims collection, by the way. I got, I got all these random Sims games for my Sims collection. Uh, Sims Double Double Deluxe Edition. I don't know if I don't I didn't remember if I had that already, but it was only a dollar, so I'm like, let me just grab it. I was selling swapping games through the years around 2016. I stopped, so I'm not sure. I forgot. Mm. Yeah, I definitely have not been paying attention. I just if I see stuff, I just buy it and then I just throw it on the shelf and I move on. Like I really should track so I don't buy the same things. <laughs> and then my favorite thing that I bought was I bought. I found a sealed copy of a Lord of the Rings The Return of the King demo disc that came in a box of Kellogg cereal. That was my favorite, that was my favorite find, my recent find. That was the, the, probably the best purchase of the year, I would say. I ain't opening that, that's adorable. And I love it, it makes me happy. Yeah. Was only a dollar. <laughs> I just buy things that make me happy, you know. I don't. I don't care about values or whatever. Like I'm like surfs up. I remember that. Haha. -ha. And then I buy the game, you know. If it's if it's only like a dollar or two, why not? to me that I bought a game twice thinking I sold it years ago and then found I still had it. So I had three copies. <laughs> I definitely have done that with uh, Sims games. I always forget to take a picture or something of my Sims collection and when I go to thrift stores those are I decided to collect all the Sims games because they're so in, in un, not valuable. Like they they worth they're worth nothing. You know what I mean? Because like a lot of them you need the, the activation code or whatever and they don't work anymore or whatever. So like they're totally point- like, nobody wants to buy them, so I'm like, this will be easy to collect. I didn't realize how many flippin' Sims games there were, <laughs> and spin-off games, and this and that, because, yeesh, there's a lot. But, I think I'm, I'm- I'm probably almost done collecting, but... Now that my collection's in a box, it's like in, like, three boxes at my parents' house, I have no idea what I have, so I'm definitely have been buying doubles. <laughs> hmm. But, you know, if someone's like, you wanna go to a thrift store? I'm not really much of a clothing shopper, but I will run to the the DVD slash CD section and look for video games, you know? It's like a treasure hunt. I'm trying to find treasures. 
I was like, this collection will take me like five seconds. I'll finish it. It's taking me so long. Also, then I started importing games because I started finding out that other countries have different covers to some games. <laughs> That's where I went wrong. And then I started getting obsessed with like collector's editions that are like $200. Uh, that was a mistake. I should have not gotten into the Sims game collecting. <laughs> Made a lot of mistakes. I'm supposed to be a cheap hobby. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Touch! Touch! Yes! Especially the Sims 4 box games, those are completely worthless because A, there's no disc inside. B, if someone uses the code that's already in there, there's no point. But those you can't- I've never seen those at thrift stores, but I have seen them online. Like used ones. People sell them for like nothing. They're worthless. Most people just throw them away, I'm assuming, though. But they look nice on my shelf. <laughs> well, they did look nice on my shelf until I moved, and now I don't have any space for the shelf. Rip. Why did I separate them? Try to keep them together. In the arm too close to the top. <laughs> no, why did I do that? Oh. oh, come on, they're definitely touching. Should I go for one of these or should I go for this one? Stressing me out. No! Dang it, I'm never gonna beat my high score. I was too good. I was too good. I keep saying one more, one more. Alright, how long have I been streaming? Two hours? At least my PC didn't overheat. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Dang it, one more. Is a VTuber like an OC? Like indie VTubers because they make their own character in lore? What am I thinking about? I was thinking, okay, I was thinking about fandoms, and then I was thinking about how people make OCs and make stories for them and, like, keep them for years. Which I am always very impressed by, because, like, I'm not a creative person. I'm always impressed by people who have OCs. Then I was like, do I have an OC? Am I an OC? Beat my high score. 
Or else I'm never gonna get off this game. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> I messed up with that one right there. Dang it. Hmm. What? music loops and loops doesn't make you crazy should i mute it <laughs> it does kind of make me crazy i was wondering if it made you guys crazy too or i'll use the classic playlist here vanguard financial advice not the commercial okay like volume wise I mean this playlist always makes me want to play Minecraft <laughs> this is my like go to actually it's not even a playlist it's like one video <laughs> just like a really long video I always played this when I was streaming Minecraft seconds and it just loops i know sorry honestly i was thinking too hard about like old internet and stuff and phantoms i didn't even realize it until right before you said that i was thinking that too i was like wait a minute <laughs> this website has that this website's music has been like looping okay good <laughs> that's probably my gonna be my last round i hope if I have the willpower to stop. <laughs> Even if I end the stream, I'm probably gonna still play this. <laughs> I can't stop. Wait, that kind of worked. No, wait. 
one. in my brain. I definitely was thinking too hard today. Me and my PC have a lot in common. Yes, 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 yes. Killing it, guys. Knock on wood. I'm not actually going to walk knock on wood because then you guys would hear that and it would be really loud. like a frog and yeah, it's hard bro <laughs> let me see oh my gosh you're right <laughs> oh it does i forgot we had stream avatars up <laughs> just a really tall frog with a, with a cute bra <laughs> the head and the torso yeah i could totally see it Uh-oh. 
when it starts getting to the top, I notice that I try to, instead of, like, putting the... I try to one-for-one one match instead of matching in the kind of general, like... I get nervous. I get too... I start, I start messing up. That should help. Okay. Push them together. Push them together. <laughs> Touch. Come on. No. Oh gosh, this is really bad. What am I up to? I think I'm gonna be beat it. Should I just pile some in here, I think? It's not gonna touch, is it? Oh no. Out. I was 500 like points away from my high score. At least I got my high score on stream. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream. I know. I have to bounce. I wouldn't have made it though. I was really I was really not doing great. But yeah, if you guys want to play here, I'll say I'll share the link with you guys, and then you can post your high scores on Discord. Um. Oh yeah, giveaway guys. Last chance to enter the giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a random Steam code today. Here's all the codes I have. One of these codes could be yours. Exclamation point enter in the chat. To enter for a chance to win one of these Steam codes. All right, I'm gonna end it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one giveaway's closed. The winner is Tra. Congrats. Okay, I'm gonna spin it. Lost ruins. Tra, do you want? Uh, do you want to re do the, redeem the reroll, or do you want to keep this one? While I'm looking for the code to send you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought I accidentally showed all the old Steam codes on the stream. <laughs> uh, I want to have this list is huge. I have so many games. There it is. Okay. It's fine. Okay, I'll send that over. Thanks for hanging today, guys. Um, I'm going to be streaming on YouTube on Thursday if you guys want to hang in there on the VODs channel. That's the first one, the first link, okay? And I'm a little nervous. I never streamed on YouTube before. But I wanted to give it a try and see how it goes. See what the vibe's like over there. Okay. See, hold on. Let's see if there's someone we can raid today. Let's raid in Charlotte. Does not accept raids. No, Aunt Charlotte doesn't accept raids. Well, I'll give Aunt Charlotte a shout out. Oh, wait, it's like, oh. 
There we go. <laughs> if you guys don't want to watch Anne Charlotte play uh, Sims 2. But thanks for, for hanging so much, guys. Sorry about the crash before. Uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye, guys.